We saw some incredible images from Sunday night storms of shelf clouds. I want to show you some of the videos and pictures that we got into click2pens.com. Let's start with this incredible video that uh, Michael sent in from Baytown. Uh, I'll put this into motion a couple of times, but that is what a shelf cloud looks like. I'm going to run it one more time and I want you to pay close attention to this smokestack and what happens to it and how that outflow and those gusty winds just completely uh, bend down the smoke. So incredible video there. Here's some of the images and pictures we saw. We in the city from League City, another shot of the uh, shelf cloud and this one a little more ominous looking. Uh, many times they're smooth on the outside, but very ragged uh, on the underside. So uh, let's see, this is from Stonegate in Cyprus. And then you've got uh, another really ragged looking shot at the bottom, but a very smooth outward appearance from Laurel Oaks. Uh, let's see, Frederick Robertson uh, sent this picture in, and then you have uh, Fall Creek and Umble. Uh, Sports Mom Times 2 sent this one. It's just really cool. And then you see the dog there. Just uh, incredible, uh, scary looking clouds. Many times uh, meteorologists call these SLCs scary looking clouds. Uh, it, it's, it's more of a tongue in cheek. They, and they rarely bring severe weather, but they are scary looking. And they do bring in some strong thunderstorms still. Uh, Little Joe sent this one in from spring. The last one will end um, from Dayton. Again, a really incredible shot with the train tracks and there's the shelf cloud and uh, just some incredible shots there. So here's how they form. So first of all, you, you got to start with the storm setup. The number one ingredient that you need are these strong updrafts. And so that's why you usually almost always get at least small hail with these because of that strong updraft. The second thing you need, you need strong winds. And so you've got that wind flow coming in. Uh, and so that upper level wind meets the downdraft inside the storm and then a strong gust of wind pushes down from the storm. So there's that uh, a gust of wind that comes down. And so what you get out of this gust of wind is what's called a gust front. And so that downward motion of winds causes cooler air under the storm. Temperature differences cause it to act like a front, like a cold front. In fact, when I was out Sunday night, I stepped outside for a little bit and there was this refreshing air that came down and that was all from this gust front. So it brings in the cool air from the bottom. And then from there, what you see as that goes out, you get a redevelopment of storm. So that gust front causes the air to rise ahead of the previous storm and the new storms develop this uh, process can repeat for several miles. That's why you saw storms go from Baytown, League City, Umble, all the way out to Cyprus uh, because of that. In fact, they started out in Cyprus and then actually went down to League City in Baytown, but it's all because of that redevelopment of storms. And so the shelf cloud, the reason you get the shelf cloud, so here's where that is, it uh, is located near the gust front and the base of the thunderstorms. And so it's attached right in that area that horizontal, it's horizontal and it's wedge shaped. It is not a wall cloud, by the way, the wall cloud has a rotating updraft and it can create tornadoes. This is not a wall cloud, it's a shelf cloud, so it's usually not associated with severe weather or tornadoes, but you can get some small hail, you can get 40 mile per hour, and of course you're getting heavy rain here and lots of lightning. But I wanted to take some time to explain how a shelf, a shelf cloud is formed.